Hello everyone, Kirith here, and today on F1 Manager, we're going to have a look at the driver models and see just how realistic they are, or maybe not quite realistic. Let's start off, we're going to go through the teams, and let's see. So we're looking at Mercedes here, Hamilton looks pretty good, he looks kind of a bit pensive like he's thinking, but Hamilton I think is pretty good. Let's have a look at Russell, Russell is, is weirding me out a little bit, I've got to be honest. Russell's got an intense stare there, that's not quite. Hamilton, pretty happy with Hamilton, looks a bit moody, looks like he's thinking, he's not happy with something in the background. Let's have a look at Russell again, Russell... Russell Russell kind of just weirds me out. So there we are with Mercedes. I think I'm going to rate Hamilton a 8. I'm going to rate Russell 7. All right, let's move on now to Red Bull. Right, here we go, Red Bull. And Verstappen, something is not quite right. <laughs> something is not quite right with the eyes. So the eyes have it. The eyes have it. The eyes are again are like Perez is whoa. Perez look again a little bit angry, but Perez is pretty good. Perez is gonna be in a nine out of ten, I think. But Max, he, he reminds me of the deep from the, the boys, the TV show. Something is a bit weird. Perez I'm gonna give a nine out of ten. Angry Perez. But Max, I've gotta give a maximum. Four out of ten. Something is not right with Max. Something's not right. Let me know in the comments if you disagree. Perez looking pretty good. Right, let's go on to Ferrari. Right, here we go with Ferrari. And um, we're gonna start with Charles. Charles is looking pretty good, actually. Charles is pretty good. He's not going to be a 9. Perez is all the best. I think he's going to be an 8 out of 10. Carlos is 10 out of 10. They have absolutely nailed it with Carlos. Charles, 8 out of 10. Something's not quite there. But let's look at Carlos again. Show me some more Carlos, please. Let's have a look at Carlos. Carlos. Ooh. Carlos is looking good. The best model I've seen yet. So it's going to be 8 out of 10 for Charles. Don't look at me like that, Charles. It's going to be 8 out of 10. Carlos has smashed it here with the model. Look at this. 10 out of 10 for Carlos. Let's go on to McLaren and see what's what with McLaren. Okay, we're with McLaren. Why does Daniel Ricciardo look like a Super Mario. Something is, something is not right with Ricardo. His face is actually not too bad, but the body thing is something is weird there. And Lando, Lando looks kind of evil. This is like evil Lando. Something is bothering Lando. <laughs> I don't think Daniel has much neck. Why is Daniel like so squat? This is not the Daniel that I've met and I know. And Lando, Lando is a villain here. This is an unusual thing. And Daniel, no, something is a little bit longer than that in the neck area. And Lando, yeah, Lando is kind of freaking me out a little bit. Okay, so I've got to rate. Daniel's got to be like a three out of 10 because it's fundamentally wrong. And Lando, I'm going to give 7 out of 10. Right, let's move on to Alpha Tauri. Right, here we go, Alpha Tauri. And what have we got? We okay, Ocon looks pretty good. I've met Ocon in real life. Ocon's actually taller. And Al <laughs> no, Alonso it looks like the angriest man. Why is some of the drive models so angry? 9 out of 10 for Ocon. Ocon is pretty good. No, something is weirding me out about Alonso. Just no, 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 no. Ocon, still going to be 9 out of 10. Show me some more Alonso. No, something is not there with it. No, this is not. This Stop. Right, Alonso. Alonso, 3 out of 10. Oh, sorry, that was Alpine. Let's go on to Alpha Tauri. Right, Alpha Tauri here. And Gasly off the bat. Gasly is looking pretty good. It's going to be another 9 out of 10 here. It does some really good jobs here in driving models. And Sonoda? Sonoda, I don't know, man. I'm not feeling like Gasly has some like emotional depth there. I'm not really feeling the Sonoda model. I'm gonna, Gasly going to give a 9 out of 10. Maybe an 8 out of 10. Let me know what, how would you rate Sonoda. I'm going to go 7 out of 10 for Sonoda. But I think people might be rating it higher. But there we go. There's Gasly and Sonoda. Let's go to Aston Martin. See what's what with Aston Martin. Here we go. Right, here we go, Aston Martin. And Sebastian is looking pretty good, I have to say. I know his hair is all over the place at the moment, but when I met Sebastian in Monaco, this is kind of the Sebastian I remember. Sebastian's pretty good. Lars is pretty good as well, actually. I think Aston Martin have got the best package here as a team. Look at this for Seb. There was Seb. There's some cheekiness. It's a bit like wine tasting, isn't it? There's some lot of stuff going on there with Seb. I think Lars has got it. So this is going to be, I think, two 8 out of 10s for Aston, which might be the best team so far. I'm not sure. Let's move on to Will. Williams. Right, Williams here and Gotifi. Again, it's got the Daniel Ricciardo thing a bit going on. Like, he's, something's not right with the proportions there. And Alex Albon, no. Just no. Alex Albon is a 2 out of 10. That is not doing Alex Albon for me. Gotifi, I don't know, again, looks kind of angry. He looks like you kind of walked into a room for a meeting. And then Gotifi is uh, walked around the door and he's just put his arms like that. And you realise the meeting is not the meeting you thought things are about to go. No, that's happy Latifi. He's got a big emotional range. So Latifi, I can't quite read it, but Alex Albon just absolutely know the beginnings of a very severe comb over there as well for Alex Albon. It's going to be a 2 out of 10 for Albon. For Latifi, I'm just going to go 5 out of 10. I don't really know Latifi that well. So we're just going to go 5 out of 10. Latifi, 2 out of 10 for Albon. But it's a pretty poor showing for Williams. Let's go to Alfa Romeo. Right, Alfa Romeo. Why is Valtteri Bottas looks like he has serious issues? I'm getting some um, some big John Moxley vibes from wrestling here. Guan Yuzhou looks pretty good. I think the eyes are pretty good there. But Valtteri Bottas looks like 
but there's some stuff going on there with Valtteri. Don't want to be in a room alone with Valtteri in case he just lets it all out. Guan Yu Zhou, I'm going to rate that 8 out of 10 for Guan Yu Zhou. Valtteri Bottas, I'm going to give 10 out of 10 because I think they've really captured some. Look at this. It's vulnerable Valtteri. But the other images of Valtteri I'm seeing, there's some anger in there. There's some deep-seated injustice, but also just violence. Quite a lot of violence here in the eyes from Valtteri. You know, it looks like he really just wants to lash out, really. So 10 out of 10 for capturing that. I wasn't expecting to feel these kind of emotions, actually, when I started out this video, but there we are. Let's move on to the last team, which is, of course, Haas. Let Whoa, that angry Valtteri is telling me to move on. Let's go on to Haas, then. Right, here we are with Haas and Mick Schumacher. I actually met on the back of a moped. He was on the back of a moped. I didn't realise it was Mick Schumacher. He's quite a generic face in real life, if that makes sense. You'd think that... A computer game would capture it quite well and I think they've done quite a good job here with uh, Mick. A little bit of unrest there as well with holding the arms and, and Kevin no. Kevin's a really hard person to capture I think. He's getting on a bit now age wise. He's such a youthful person. Mick I think they've done it. I think Mick is a 9 out of 10 by the way. They've absolutely smashed. That is a 1 out of 10. I don't think I can give 0 out of 10 but that is going to be a 1 out of 10 for Kevin Magnuson. He's a difficult one to get the model for but even here just the proportions aren't quite right. Yeah Mick Schumacher pretty good. Kevin Magnuson, something weird is going on. But there we go. Hope you enjoyed it. There's all my rankings. Let me know if you would rank anyone differently. Make sure to like and subscribe, by the way, if you like this content. But otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.